Hey cheaters, here's a quick tutorial on how to use Project Atlas for Cheat Layer. Two weeks ago, we released the world's first tool that allowed ChatGPT to actually perform real-time actions in the real world, including generating entire websites, 3D scenes, and automations. This was before ChatGPT actually released their API. And then last week, ChatGPT released their API, so we've actually had the chance to directly integrate ChatGPT into Project Atlas. Project Atlas is now our own custom version of ChatGPT that can do things that are impossible in ChatGPT itself. We've trained ChatGPT to understand our internal library of automations to solve all the roadblocks possible in automation and allow it to go and solve the last mile. So let me go over a few quick examples. Traditionally, ChatGPT wasn't able to actually go perform real actions in the real world, and even the code that it generated would have been limited because vanilla JavaScript doesn't allow things like sending data across websites because they have things like cross-domain security. Through our Chrome extension, we've built a library that solves all the last mile problems, including integrating custom APIs and things like getting data to Google Sheets to allow ChatGPT to actually perform these last mile solutions. Through our over a year of experience, we've learned what all the roadblocks are in automation. We've distilled that lot knowledge into a library that we've trained directly into ChatGPT so that it can go do and perform actions. So I'm going to go over some more examples. Let's do a scrape. prices, views. Every automation that comes to us in office hours, we're training into Project Atlas such that the next time a user wants it, they can ask Project Atlas instead. You can think of it as your own personal software engineer. And in this case, I could have asked for titles, prices, and reviews, or just titles, or just prices. And it'll build the custom automation for you based on your requests. Um, and then let's just say for three pages. And now it's going to ask us for the Google Sheet input URL. Let's just take this Google Sheet. And there it goes. It's now built the whole automation in the background. We can even ask it to schedule these automations for us. For example, we could say... Um, And as you can see, it's scraping the data. I'm going to stop this now. Say. You can say, uh, do this search every day at 10 a.m., for example, to do your lead generation auto autopilot, or uh, do this search every minute. And it'll actually go schedule it for you using our internal scheduling system, which is fault tolerant and has a queuing system. So even if your browser is closed or you're traveling, it'll queue them to the next time that you uh, log in again and run them again. So this is now going to try and run it every minute. Uh, when you schedule automations, it'll add it to your scheduler at cheatlayer.com. So there it goes again. So I'm going to just stop this so it doesn't go every minute. Okay, cool. Uh, some of the more cooler automations that we can do, let's just go into maybe some cool chat GPT features. Chat with GBT, uh, by training it our internal library, we can now have access to all the knowledge it has uh, in addition to allowing it to go solve these problems. So you can think of arbitrary problems to solve, including arbitrary math and Google Sheets, and it'll actually figure out the formula for you. So you can say things like uh, add column A to uh, column C and put the result in column E. It's going to ask for the sheet. And there it goes. Amazing. Whoops. There's my Amazon automation and Google Sheets. Pretty cool. And you can see it actually even figures out the formula for us and inputs the formula in the right position and right place. You can also say things like um, <clears throat> through, let's say, H 
Oh, there's Google Maps going again. <laughs> A through H and put um, let's see the result in column I. So now what I'm going to try and do is get the sum. Sheet one. Let me just tell this to stop. And there it goes. It's putting the sum. Pretty cool. We can also tell Chat GBT to do um, uh, arbitrary um, FAQs on whatever page that you're on. So. Um, Let's see, for example, we could go to Wikipedia. Let's go to a random Wikipedia page. And say, count the number of times, um, let's say, Russia, the word Russia. Oops. Sorry about that. Russia appears on this page. And it counts it. So it understands the context of where you are and then uses chat GPT to answer arbitrary questions on any website. This is kind of exciting um, uh, and useful because now you can build custom automations. Even if Project Atlas doesn't support it itself, chat GPT will now go and attempt to build the automation for you in whatever context because it now understands our internal library how to use them, plus a semantic understanding of the context of the page. Pretty exciting stuff. You can also do things like generating apps, websites, and games. So let's say um, I want to copy this image. And let's say uh, generate a landing page for a sales automation SaaS. Um, there are my greenies again. Um, with a pricing features um, and email sign up section. Use this logo. Okay, let's see what it does. Just wait a minute or so. Sometimes it takes a minute to generate. And there it is. That took uh, about 30 seconds to generate. Sometimes it takes up to a minute, but it actually built the entire page for me and it downloaded the website HTML. This is pretty exciting stuff. In future classes, we'll teach how to, um, uh, in our tutorials as well, we'll teach how to generate a, a widget that allow you to deploy prompt-based products pretty quickly using ChatGPT itself. And you can tell ChatGPT how to design even the front-end website. It even used our logo, but I could have asked it to use like a black background and any color I wanted and things like that. This is pretty cool. You can actually even tell it to use arbitrary libraries, JavaScript, CSS libraries, and it'll use the public CDN to make it work. Um, and then even make, like hook that up to your form so the forms actually work. Pretty exciting stuff. So I'm sure you guys will have fun building arbitrary websites with this. Uh, one of the cooler things you can do is actually even make it generate games. Uh, let's, let me see how this goes. Uh, sometimes you have to make it generate a couple times, but let's see. Um, generate an asteroids game. Okay. Try this out. Oh, cool. Oh, I, I immediately lost. But um, let me see. Oh. Oh. This one's hard. <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. All right. I lived. <laughs> I, I scored. And I made it. And I think I can control it, sort of. <laughs> That's kind of cool. 
All right, so that's pretty cool. So you can see you can basically generate anything. Sometimes you have to be more descriptive in what you generate. In this case, I have to ask it to make it a ship that can shoot and generate shoot asteroids and things like that. Um, and then when you do generate games, make sure to open the HTML page in a new page because it has JavaScript. Uh, to ch check out everything else that we can support now, go to our cheat codes page, uh, cheatlayer.com, and you'll find it. You can now search these. So uh, it's easier to, to, to look for them. And I recommend trying them out. And um, pretty excited for our public launch as well. So stay tuned for a large promotion where you'll be able to learn more tasks to be able to run more of these automations. You can also use ChatGPT to automate posting to social media. So you can say things like um, post motivational quotes to Twitter every day at 10 a.m. We'll actually go do it. And there he goes. Pretty cool. Hmm. <laughs>